we are in the woods of France, just uh, on the north of Lyon, and we are on the top of one high hill here, trying to spot some birds, and that's a great place to spot a green woodpecker. And I want to spot cuckoo. This is my goal, so let's see if I can spot this. Before exploring further, subscribe to my channel where I publish regular videos about travel and wildlife around the world. And now, let's enter the French forest and see what secrets it hides. Like in many places around the world, most of people living here have no clue about what's hiding in their forest. Like this blue tit. If you pay attention and wait patiently and calmly, it would possibly show up. It is a fairly common bird which likes to build nests in tree branches and bushes. Even though it likes to stay hidden too, everybody in the French countryside knows this bird, or at least knows its call. This is Eurasian colored duck, a kind of wood pigeon which likes singing from high trees, and it's a kind of a French countryside soundtrack. A little forest hut. You know, kids here in France like to construct their own houses in woods and play inside. So this one great example of a forest house where kids store their stuff and just play. What I've spotted. Let's come closer to see what is this. It looks like a little house made of stones. Actually, I've spotted several ones like this on my way uh, here on the top of the hill in the woods. And uh, these little houses actually very interesting thing here. You know. Before, a long time ago, they were used by people who came here to grow some crops, uh, to grow some wine on top of the hill. Uh, for those farmers, it was quite hard to go up and down every day. So that's why they constructed these kind of houses to stay overnight and keep all their supplies up there. Let's have a look inside. So, as you can see, it's quite a little house, but it's enough to store all these supplies and even to sleep for one or two people. What is even more amazing is that right now, French people in this region are trying to keep their history by preserving these houses like that. At a first glance, the French forest looks like a cradle of peace and serenity. However, while walking in the forest, you need to be careful of spider webs which hang between trees. Like this wasp spider. Its bite is quite painful, like that of a wasp, but its poison is not dangerous for humans. Thank you. 
In the European forest, you may also find some European hornets. They are also not aggressive, but when attacked, the whole colony will defend back. So be careful to not disturb them and leave them in peace. French forests are home to a huge variety of insects, plants, and animals. It just requires a bit of patience and curiosity to discover them. And, according to some serious studies, spending time in a forest helps to reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and improve mood. Found this little nest which was on the floor, so I picked it up and uh, what bird do you think it belongs to? I think, um, according to the size, it belongs to a small bird, not very big, but I just wanted to show how cute it is. It's amazing for me every time that birds can construct their houses, their nests, just with their beaks. They don't have hands, they have nothing, but they are able to weave all this nests like so skillfully just using their beaks. Look at this. It's just amazing, I think. Just outside the forest, I've spotted many birds of prey turning around a specific place. Taking a closer look, it seems they got a small mammal. Nonetheless, it seems to be a sad event. Seeing so many birds of prey at the same place is a great sign of an abandoned food supply for them nearby and therefore a lot of wildlife. So, it's a pretty vivid indicator of the good fauna house status. Birds of prey, like black kites and castros, are mainly hunting for mice and rats. Thus, they support a balance in the ecosystem and help preserving harvests from past damage. The name Castro means small colorful falcon. The name originally came from the old French word chrysal, meaning rattle, which is what the birds chirp resembled. If you encounter a Castro, this signifies protection from bad luck and negative energies. Kestros are fantastic flyers. They eat wood mice and shrews, small birds, insects and earthworms. In the wild, kestros can live up to 5 years. In captivity, over 17 years. As you have noticed, males and females look similar, 
But males have gray hats. This is what forest in France means. This is real forest, different from jungles of Thailand that I'm showing you all the time. Trees are different, grasses are different, everything is different. And the birds are different here too. Of course, here you won't find majestic great hornbills, but you will still find a variety of colorful birds. just spotted two deers, two real deers in the wild like this. And I think the also spot me. French forest trying to find a pivert. In fact, it's really possible to find him here and I keep hearing him again and again, but it's a really hard task to find because as you can see, there are so many trees and he is hiding quite well, but I believe I can succeed. After hours of a desperate woodpecker search, I finally found it. Even a cuckoo. So I consider my go completed. Very happy.
these walls are real history. So many, many years have seen these walls of this famous yellow stone of France. They are older than everything. In my three episodes about French nature, I showed you French countryside with its beautiful vine yards and landscapes, French rivers with their birds and animals living nearby, and finally, French forests with their own secrets to show. I hope you enjoyed this little trip and discovered France from another unusual perspective. Thanks to my video guides. Please put me a thumb up, leave a comment, and share this video with others so more people will have a chance to see it and YouTube ranks me high in the search. In my next episode, I will show you French Alps and Marmots. Stay tuned! And see you soon!